If you like the video make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. How did you find out you were getting cheated on? Back in my first real relationship that lasted roughly 9 years on and off. We were emotional at times and chaotic, but in general worked okay. Looking back I'd say we were terrible for each other and dragged each other down, but young and naive and I wanted to only be with one person and maybe at the time she felt that way too. Anyways, to skip to the cheating part. I worked two jobs and went to college and supported her while she fast tracked a BS and masters in accounting so she could use her uncle as a resource to get a job at Deloitte. This was a huge in and a way to get a security clearance as well. This would require us to move to Virginia eventually though. The financial crash hits and I get affected by it in 2010. I get a small severance and we decided since she only had a few more months of school left that we would live off savings and 401k, if needed, until we moved. She applied for a clearance and got started working doing auditing while we still lived in our current state and had to do a lot of traveling. She went to many US bases in states like Hawaii and even places like Seoul. Pretty sweet deal. Unfortunately, I got a bit depressed from losing my start in a career and working with the people I came to know for the past four years and she was just started working with some young and hungry people. We eventually get moved to Virginia and I'm isolated from anyone I know. She is working in office and traveling more. She gets invited to parties and I didn't feel attractive or confident enough to be seen. I didn't want to embarrass her. So I wouldn't go. I would stay and play well or something. I was still doing some online classes and was getting closer to finishing and started going to the gym and getting some more confidence back. Then. One day she rear ends someone slightly while coming home late from work. I figured out she had a couple of drinks. That was surprise and I got super suspicious and started to snoop. I opened up her work laptop and opened Gmail and say the chats with the young and handsome guy she talked a little about. A lot of sexting and talking about what they wanted to do to each other and kind of a blur now, but basically I confronted her about it and she tells me they hooked up one in a hotel room in Seattle and it was because she was drunk. That was it. I think we all know there was more to it. I started looking through bank records and notice a lot of bars and sex shops on the bank accounts and amounts of $200 or more used at them. She admitted that she would go to the sex shops with her co-worker boss and his wife. And that she only gave him head once. Then she backtracked on that and said it never happened and she only said it to see how I would react. Anyways. We had a huge fight and I took every physical and digital picture of us and tore them up and deleted them. This was like the ultimate F. U. To her because she considered herself to have bad memory and really valued pictures. This fight mainly happened because she came home one day and said that the co-worker or boss she sucked dick with, and was married, convinced her to take me to budget rental and rent a truck with my money to move out. And that is what happened. A $700 truck rental, 3 small boxes what a waste, 2 dachshunds and a 13 hour non-stop drive back home to move in with my aunt. 9 years, retirement account, bank account, and all the materials gathered in my life up until then gone had to start over. The first time was my gut screaming at me. My intuition has always been very on point, and in the midst of a normal night, with zero reason to want to, with zero idea that anything was wrong, my gut screamed at me. So that night I did something I never do. The wife now ex went to bed early and against all my principles, morals and values I went into the bedroom and grabbed her phone. I went and sat on the couch and opened up her messages. There laid conversations that made me extremely uncomfortable with her boss. At first, I thought I just found out that she was checking on me with her boss, but as I scrolled it revealed itself that she was into a coworker named Chris. With her saying things like, I am gonna be out of town alone and right by him, IDK if I can control myself. The boss playing devil's advocate, go ahead, do it. So my anxiety, even now, shot up. What did I just find? Then my brain shot too. Who's Chris? Is there a text thread with him? So I hunt, and I find. In these texts are things like, 
I miss you so much, I miss your face, I can't wait to see you again. My blood at this point is boiling. But I need to know more. Was this video calls? Was this in person? What's going on? I couldn't contain my rage though, I slammed the bedroom door open, she shot up, I said, fuck you. Completely confused she says, what? What's wrong? So I chucked her phone at her. And said, ask Chris, and began to walk out the house. She jumps up, chases after me, trying to get me to not leave. Every cheater's excuse in the world flowing from her mouth. It's not what you think. I love you, I don't want to lose you, blah. Blah blah. Blah, blah. I leave. Spent my night on the beach, waiting for the sun to come up. I stayed there for 11 hours just sitting, crying, wondering wth. As time went on and we had our screaming matches, then our convos, then our sit-downs and meeting of the minds. We moved forward. I moved past it. She was caught, she seems empathetic to her actions. Maybe things will be different. A few months go by, and she leaves for her sister's house, a few states away, to visit for a week. Through the first few days I hardly heard from her, wouldn't text back, wouldn't call me or answer calls, or did very rarely. I couldn't sleep. So 3 AM my gut is screaming again. I grab both my laptops and begin to CIA my way into her accounts. After a few password changes, a little digging and about an hour into it, I access her Snapchat records. Although, I couldn't see exactly what was being sent back and forth, the entire time she wouldn't talk to me, she was messaging him photos, videos, calling him. I called her, 3 AM, 10 times, woke her up. Told her to stay up there, don't come back. She played ignorant. Then made it a me problem. Pure narcissist move was to try to manipulate it to be a me issue. Post marriage I reflected on our 6 years and saw there was a trend for that. I couldn't call her on BS without it becoming about me. She was good at it, she left me with trauma and self hate for a while post marriage because of it. You're probably thinking this is where the story ends. But unfortunately, it wasn't. Call me dumb. Stubborn. Dedicated persistent, loyal, idk, idk what it was. But we even moved past that. She came back again. And for months, and months, a year even. We were good, better than ever actually. Or, she just got real good at pretending. So to shorten a long story of my final chapter with her down, I'll summarize the rest. It was a year, maybe a year and a half later. All the above was water under the bridge. I'm on my toes, but feeling good about where life was going. It was June, and we had just gone on a family vacation with her relatives. Prior to vacation I had talked to my buddy who I'd been very close friends with for 14 years at the time. His life had taken a dark turn over the years prior and he wasn't himself. So I talked him into letting me pick him up and bring him down to my place on the coast for a little, let him spread his wings. Get out of bumfuck nowhere and live a little. Freshen his soul. Meet someone. Try new things. It was like being teenagers all over again. Laughing having a great time, hanging out, etc. After a few weeks things began to turn though. My friend and my wife were hanging out more and more. I began to feel uninvited. A stranger in my own home. I felt edged out. So like an adult I asked my wife to go with me to the park, we needed to talk. I asked her what's going on, why do I feel this way, what is this energy? She says to my face she developed feelings for him. She tried talking me into an open relationship, she tried to talk me into a threesome. So, naturally I went back home and I told him to pack and I sent him back home. She was angry with me for doing this and became immediately distant. She started hanging out on the deck I just built for our family, sitting right under the kitchen windows and texting. Within the week, I got curious. Naturally I looked as she sat there texting, and then I took my camera out and zoomed in on her phone and snapped a photo. There she sat talking to my friend, making plans for how to make money. 
She wanted to buy an RV, travel, and make porn together. We talked, a million times, and from saying she feels for him, to telling me it's not about him, we decided she needed to go. To hurt me, my daughter like this, to betray everyone who trusted her. She needed to go. It's been years now, and left me with trust issues and trauma. But I have a good woman now. Who has never made my gut scream like that? I'll never look in a phone again. If the energy changes, if my gut turns like that ever again. I'm just going to trust it. Best day of my life and I'll never forget it. It was six years ago and her effects still linger on me. I worked in a corporate restaurant. I was the money maker, head bartender, funny guy, own apartment, also filled in for management. She was the hottest chick on staff. Started super hot, perfect match, spiraled years 2.5-5. I'd try to break up and her mom would tell her to not accept my breakup unless I give her stuff, or the dog, or the apartment, otherwise just lie and say I'd done something terrible and everyone would believe her because she was a half-blind type 1 diabetic and pretty. For two years I hated her relationship with a male server. I hated him and I hated that I was honest with her but he'd still be invited to everything. I knew it but she never got caught. My buddy told me in my kitchen and showed me texts from him and a picture of them making out at a bar. It was the most relief I'd ever felt. I texted her exactly what I knew and how I knew it and she didn't even put up a fight. 48 hours later every trace of her was gone at my place. My only courtesy to her was I left that job. Easy to do in the industry, I had a new better job a week later. I kept the dog, the friends and the apartment. From that point I've had the strength to have the awkward break up when shit isn't good a few months in, because I vowed to never torture myself living with someone for years that I don't love ever ever again. I was at the bus stop waiting for my bus to go home. My girlfriend, ex now for 3 years, handed me her phone and said I could go on a game. So I did, however my mind told me to go on messenger as I had a bad feeling. So as I was on her messenger, I saw explicit photos of what she was sending to another person. I clicked on messages to see when she sent the nudes and it was day before. I wanted to cry but I turned my emotions off and handed her phone with it on. She laughed and didn't give a fuck apparently. Luckily the bus just came. So I got on the bus and I sat at the back of the bus. A stranger asked me, hey young man, why are you down? I told him what just happened. Just keep in mind this is a guy that's in his late 30s or 40s so he had a personality where you can class him as a dad or a father figure if you know what I mean. I teared up and cried after telling him. He told me, hey man, listen to me carefully. Don't be upset with what you witnessed. Be happy that you now know what person she is and be happy that you're gonna get stronger soon. Life may be shit at times, but it's all up to you to make your life great. Everyone's life is a story. Every day goes by as a page turning in the book of your life. Make it a happy story, not a sad one. He then proceed to roll me a cig. I will never forget that man who cheered me up. If you're reading this, wherever or whoever you are. Thank you. I have a few more of these than I'd like to admit. She'd start stupid fights with me almost every Friday. We'd break up for the weekend and on Monday she'd come back saying she's forgiven me. Found out she was essentially having orgies every weekend with her brother's friends. Walked into a room at a party, looking for the bathroom, and saw her on top of another guy. She claimed it wasn't cheating because he was gay. She went to a party that she uninvited me to at the last minute. Then her twin sister, who had a crush on me, started texting me photos of her making out with another dude. Her and my sister didn't come home one night and both their phones were off. They got home at 8am the next morning and claimed their phones died, they missed the train and had to stay with a friend. I asked them separately about a simple detail and their stories didn't line up. Turns out they went to my mate's place and had a threesome. She worked at a bar and I was in town. I popped in to see her, for the free drinks of course but the bar was closed. 
messaged her asking what time she'd like me to pick her up and she said I should just go to sleep and she'll get a taxi because the bar was super busy. Checked her phone when she got home and passed out, there were a lot of messages to a friend getting their story straight. She had cancer and was in hospital having some pretty intense treatment. She was knocked out and as she came to she noticed me there and started freaking out. Saying I had to go because her boyfriend's parents were coming to pick her up. My parents weren't coming to pick her up, and the nurses made me leave because I was upsetting her. I'd been there a few days, so I went home to have a shower and then went back in because the drugs should have worn off by then. When I arrived she was more lucid and told me that she had a boyfriend, and that his parents were indeed coming to pick her up. I had to leave. She works as a massage therapist. She split time doing massages and working the desk at the spa where she works. She would leave her Apple Watch at home on days she had massages and it would just be alerting for her text messages, which, not a big deal. But this one guy kept hitting her up. I didn't know her code to her watch so I couldn't read the messages but I took a stab at it anyway. It was her bank card pin. And it was what you'd expect. Just the dumb sweet talk to each other and sweet nothings people say when they are in a new relationship. I read when he was going to bring her Starbucks at work and stuff. And how he wanted me out of the picture so he could marry her and stuff. Like, it wasn't pleasant going through her messages, but there was no fixing this. We got divorced shortly after at my behest. She still has no idea I was reading her messages. Six years and two kids. She moved out in February. IDK if she ever ended up with that guy but now she has some new dick and they moved in together pretty quickly. As a father of two boys, I'm not thrilled about that. But I don't think that girl knows what a healthy relationship looks like and I think eventually he will see that and leave her ass too. Personally, I hope she never finds the peace she's looking for. She ruined my peace of mind. Dating is impossible for me now. Good riddance. Like many below, her phone, it had about a minute gap before it went dark standby mode to unlock again. She was always very precious about having her phone on her, rarely left it on the bed, on a drawer etc. The little WhatsApp signal from above dropped down and my suspicions were confirmed. I went cold, she was in the kitchen. It had happened before and I told myself if it were to happen again I wouldn't even talk about it, call her out etc. I got up, put on my coat, slipped out the door without her noticing, took a subway to my place she's calling me and leaving messages. Got home, told my housemates if she calls around to tell her I am not here. Booked a flight back home within three days. Her messages still indicated that she had no idea what was going on, even saying that she'd call the police as a disappearance. No contact was ever made since that moment leaving her room. The worst part was that she had the hallmarks of someone who was a decent, upstanding person, good moral compass and still she cheated. It was seven years ago and I haven't dated since. You really realize that absolutely anyone, for all you know, could cheat. They don't have to be bratty, spoilt, narcs, etc. It totally blew my mind and decided to leave dating out of my life. 11 years of marriage, two beautiful daughters, 9 to 10 years old supported her through many jobs and education finally she settled to be an emt paramedic her colleagues poisoned her mind saying they all get divorced she began 72 hours straight work sleeping in bunks away from home coming home for a day then leaving again to work for years she came home early one morning after work and crying when she seen me i knew she was slowly removing me from her heart i never thought she was that kind of person I went through her phone and found WhatsApp Messenger and two other undercover channels to talk with people and then delete. She had messages from co-workers that were questionable. In 2016 she was leaving but the guy got cold feet and she stayed home found out about that this year. In May of 2022 she found another person and ditched me. I miss my kids so much I took care and loved them. My kids are being raised by strangers. My kids asked me not to get them because they were scared for their mom and wanted to stay. 
After 11 years and you get blindsided with lies and misinformation thinking we were going to Indiana together then last minute she splits and drains the joint account. Being stuck in California with bills and dreads and no more dreams.